piece or something. Which is why I don't really want to turn the fan off because then they'll be able to hear me. But I don't know if you can hear me with the fan on or not. Uh, welcome to Vlogmas Day 9, I guess. I obviously didn't do Vlogmas today. Um, I'm doing this in my bathroom right now because I wanted to... Let me just twist it, obviously. That's better. I wanted to have a chat and just update you on today because today I didn't vlog. Because today has not been a good day, again. So I basically woke up this morning at 7 o'clock with my alarm like I normally do. And then um, I left my moisturizer in my room back two seconds. Um, yeah, so where was I? Taking glue off my eyelashes, I'm talking about this morning. So I woke up this morning with my alarm at 7 o'clock, like I normally do, to find out that the Wi Fi was not working again, as it normally doesn't in this place, because uni halls of residence Wi Fi is shit, which doesn't help. And when the Wi-Fi isn't working, it really stresses me out for some reason, and I really hate it. And then I've also got these two class tests coming up next week, which I keep going on about, I know, but they're really stressing me out. And I'm like, when I'm stressed about something, I put it off. I don't do anything about the problem. So, like, this is the thing, right? I could revise really hard, I could work really, really hard, and then I wouldn't be stressed, right? And you think, why wouldn't I do that? Because I don't. Basically, that's the reason, because I just don't, like, when I'm, when I don't want to do something, I will put it off, and that's why uni is so bad for me, because I'm really bad at self-motivating, um, and actually getting shit done by myself. I need to get 40% in them to pass, basically, which I guess is doable. And then I cried. So basically, yeah, I woke up at 7 o'clock, all of this was going through my head. I was being aired by a guy, but we'll get onto that in a little bit. The guy from last week, as you probably guessed. Um, being aired, he would opened my Snapchat. I was not happy because that kind of all ties in with everything else that was going on this evening. Um, um, so I was a bit like, okay, this is great. And then I just started crying. And I cried for a long time. I cried myself back to sleep and then I woke up again at half past eight and decided to get myself ready. Um, I'm gonna do get my makeup off and everything. Woo! Makeup remover. Um, so I cried myself back to sleep basically. Woke up again at about half past eight, so about an hour and a half later and thought, right, I've got to leave in an hour, I really need to get my shit together because I really didn't want to go to my lecture this morning but I kind of had to because it was, like I said, class test prep stuff so I kind of had to go and I don't think any would have forgiven me if I hadn't gone. Um, any knew I had I was having a bit of a breakdown, a little bit of a mare. So she oh, there's a receipt on my bathroom shelf and I don't know why. So she basically like held my hands through the whole lecture. I cried in the lecture which was a bit embarrassing but that's okay. Um I went to Ellie's afterwards we were gonna watch Christmas films and stuff and then we had the bright idea to go to Spoons so we got our friend Zach, that was horrible and we said Spoons and he said Spoons so we went to Spoons for lunch which was lovely I had a really nice tuna milk panini and a cup of tea because Ellie and Zach were drinking but I don't day drink um, I shouldn't really night drink either to be honest with you I should just drink and then at about 6 o'clock our friend Eloise comes it comes up and she's like, whoa, I'm having a bit of a breakdown. And I was like, well, I've been having a breakdown all day. So do you need us to come over? So I went to hers, back up to uni. So they live at uni, like up at the uni campus, and I live like down here, so I had to get the bus to theirs. Um, and by this point, basically, I'd got really fed up with being aired by this guy. Um, so I'd send him a long message. Um, this is what I've been wondering ever since I saw him on Tuesday that do I message him? Do I say, right, what's going on here? What are we? Because he's been really off. He was off like ever since Tuesday basically. So I was just like, right, do I message him? Ask what's going on? Ask if we're on the same page. If we're not on the same page, am I still filming? Um, if we're not on the same page, then we need to leave it and it's best we know now. So, 
I messaged him that and then it took him like two hours to reply. And basically the nub and gist is that we weren't on the same page. Well, I think we were on the same page with what we wanted, but the problem was the timing didn't really work out. Like, it wasn't good timing for him. Oh fuck, I've left my salt water in my room as well. I'll be back. Yeah, so, um, the timing wasn't really right for him. Um, which, I am not so okay with now. Uh, I put everything everywhere because I had to clear this shelf so I could put the camera on it to film this a little bit. So, I mean, everything is just on the toilet and on the floor and just everywhere. Um, what was I saying? What was I? Yeah, timing was a bit off. Um, it's not going to work out. So we've called it a day. And I cried again at Eloise's. Um, I feel like I'm about to cry again. It's okay, but the thing is, at least I know now, instead of leaving it a few more weeks and getting more invested. And like, we've had the conversation now, and now we can both move on. And that's okay. Um, he just said he didn't really have the time. Like, he liked me and everything, but he didn't really have the time to support a proper relationship at this time. Which is, like, fair enough, I guess, because I've been in that situation with a guy before where it's really not right timing. Not for those reasons, not because I don't have time for a relationship, but because I wasn't really over another one. And I rushed into something else pretty quickly. Which was actually about a year ago this time, if I'm going to be completely honest. So, yeah, that's kind of been a bit of a bummer today. So today's been a not so great day um, and that's why I didn't really vlog anything today because I kind of just wanted like a me day. Um, oh, my moisturiser, which I mentioned um, in an upcoming video, which isn't up yet. Um, these vlogs haven't really been that Christmassy so far, have they? Um, I'm doing something really good tomorrow though, I'm meeting Hannah and I at her Christmas thing with my friend Jess, which I'm super excited for, so oh. hopefully that's a good and positive thing to be happening. I've got to clean my teeth now and put my retainers in. So yeah, that's what's been going on today basically, that's why I haven't really vlogged today because I just haven't really wanted to. Um, and I think it's okay to do that sometimes. It's cool to take a break. Hang on, let me resume after I've cleaned my teeth. What was I saying before I had to clean my teeth? I'm gonna do my retainers now. So, I have a separate toothbrush for my retainers. Um, you have to clean them every day with your retainer and I need to do these things as well yeah I was saying that it's okay to take a break it's okay to not want to do something even though you said you would do it but the point is that I wanted to get something out for vlogmas every day I wanted to create some sort of content for vlogmas and that's what I've done so it could be worse. I've got something for today. My life isn't that interesting anyway, if I'm completely honest. I do the same thing pretty much every day. So, mm, my retainers are feeling very tight at the moment as well. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. It sucks though, because I wanted to do parkrun again tomorrow morning and try and get another sub-30, but I couldn't. <sighs> because of Hannah so. But that's okay, because I get to meet her tomorrow. I'm super excited for that. Ow! Yeah. There are good and positive things happening every day. So it could be worse. Life could be a lot worse. And I think I'm going to leave it there because I've rambled long enough, quite frankly. Let's see what this mop of hair is doing. Oof. This is what happens when you don't wash your hair and you have to wet it every day for it to look semi-decent so when you don't wet it because I didn't have a shower this morning because I woke up too late because I was crying um this is what happens and it looks ugly so I'm going to turn the camera off and go to bed now I'll see you tomorrow for 
a much more interesting vlogmas. Good night.